In the high stakes legislative elections in France, the coalition of the left has won the maximum number of seats, beating back the far right and the centrist. The outcome has left France facing the prospect of a hung parliament. The New Popular Front, or NFP, which is a cluster of several parties, ranging from far-left France and bowed to more moderate socialist and the ecologists unexpectedly surged and won 182 seats in the 577-seat National Assembly. The centrist Ensemble Alliance won 163 seats and the far-right National Rally won 143 seats. That means all three main blocs are well short of the 289 seats needed to control the National Assembly. A hung parliament is an unknown territory for modern France. Unlike other countries in Europe, France does not have a tradition of lawmakers from rival political camps coming together to form a majority. What comes next is uncertain. The RN, also known as the National Rally, seems to have conceded defeat with leader Jordan Bardella, calling the cooperation between anti-RN forces a disgraceful alliance that would paralyze France. Unfortunately, the alliance of dishonor and the dangerous electoral arrangements made by Emmanuel Macron and Gabriel Attal with the far-left formations are tonight depriving the French people of a policy of recovery that they nonetheless overwhelmingly sided for by putting us in the lead in the European elections and then last Sunday in the first round with almost 34% of the votes cast. The left and centrist alliances cooperated after the first round of voting last week by pulling scores of candidates from three-way races to build a unified anti-RN vote. Marie Le Pen warned that France will be blocked with three groups with more or less the same influence in the assembly. France will be totally blocked with three groups that have more or less the same influence in the National Assembly. Well, we're going towards that. It's sad. We're losing one more year. One more year of unregulated immigration. One more year of losing purchasing power. One more year of a blowing up of insecurity in our country. Coming to the NFP and centrist, the NFP is clear that it wants to govern. Hard left leader Jean-Luc Mélenchon said, the will of the people must be strictly respected. Now the will of the people must be strictly respected. From now on, no tricks, backroom deals and our combinations will be acceptable. The lessons to be taken from this vote is definitive. The defeat of the president and his coalition has been confirmed with clarity. The president must give in and admit this defeat without trying to get around it in any way. The Prime Minister must go. French President Emmanuel Macron's office says he is reviewing the latest election results and will wait for the full picture to emerge before taking a call. On the other hand, French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal said he will tender his resignation to President Macron today. Tonight, the political group I represented in this campaign, even if it scored three times more than what was predicted in recent weeks, does not have a majority. And so, being loyal to Republican tradition and to my principles, I will hand in my resignation letter to the President. Meanwhile, protesters clashed with riot police after results from France's parliamentary elections were announced. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.